What's up guys, Duck Opinion here, and this is a uh, indie game on Steam called uh, Project Zombold. Something like that. But it has a lot of different modes, it's a really kind of unique game, and I want to show you guys. So, let's do Survivor, I already got a guy here. Played it a little bit, I don't want to be too noob at it, but I'm going to be really noob at it. <laughs> it is a very kind of, it reminds me of like an NES game or an old school PC game, but it is a zombie apocalypse game. We will fight zombies, we will go ram ramage through shit but again i don't know it's just, it's a lot different i want your guys opinion on how it looks and what do you guys think of it because it's very very different this was recommended to me by someone in one of my state of decay videos he said that this game's a lot better in state of decay and i don't think it is but i still want to show it to you guys because it is pretty different and unique and also in alpha stages so not being able to see my character right away. All right, there we go. Okay, so start off. My dude's completely naked, with uh, I don't even know what's in his hand. But this is a dude I had earlier. I was just messing around with him. But you can do obviously stuff like remove clothes, this and that. Let's put him at least some pants and shoes back on. And we got our p pistol equip. So we got a pistol. And this is the game, right here. It is an alpha, so we see some bugs like at the beginning where it doesn't kind of work too well. That's to be expected, but. Let's, let's do this. Locked door. I'm sure the front way is locked too, but something I discovered really early on in this game is you can just open the window. Smash window. I don't know if you did it or not. I'll tell you though, the, the controls could use a bit of a rehaul though on this game because I'd be trying to do stuff and I don't do it ever. I don't know, but I do like the idea of this game. It does seem really cool, but... But it's just a lot harder to do stuff than it should be. Like, I'm trying to smash these windows. And they finally did it, but... Again, 9 out of 10, the buttons don't work. Like, I'm supposed to be able to go through that. Like, it's supposed to be like... There we go. But you see, as I mean, if, if you're in, like, a zombie apocalypse, and you're running, like, from a zombie, the last thing you want is to be like, open this door, and then the button's not working. You're like, come on, open this door, and the button's not working, and then you get eaten. <laughs> So here's how you can check everything. You pretty much just go in the house and you, you can just click everything. It's there. So you can get you can build a lot of stuff though. It has like kind of a Minecraft sense to it where you can actually be like, yeah, let's build a pot. Let's use this stove to cook our soup and then let's eat the soup. And so it does kind of feel like a DayZ type thing, but of course, you know, we're all just waiting for the DayZ single player. So that's opened up. And as you see, you can also zoom in and zoom out, which is a cool feature. But again, you know, I just don't know how how far this game can go unless they kind of introduce maybe a new city and maybe just maybe better controls. And there's one also thing, one just little nitpick that makes me hate this game is you can only see the zombies. Like here's an example, when you're facing them. When you're not facing them, they disappear. And that's super, super annoying. I know it's trying to be realistic, but that doesn't quite... It's not that great. You could just be standing here. A zombie could be walking around to get me right now, and I wouldn't know. And I could see this guy, but some gun gameplay. You gotta aim it with the right stick, and then shoot with the left. Although I don't got any ammo, so I'm shooting at nothing. But I swear, it took me an hour to figure out how to shoot in this game. That's the one thing I almost totally just stopped playing this and never played it again, just because of how retarded the controls are. Like, the things, as you see, 9 out of 10 will never work. Smash window. Smash window. And it just stands there and doesn't smash windows. And, like, that's the same thing with the gun. Like, I had to figure out how to work the gun. The, con the controls are so bad on this game that it, it's going to make people that actually would have a fun time in this game not play it. And I really think that's something they need to work on fixing in this alpha version. Because, I mean, if you go to a window and hit open window, this one actually worked. Climb through. See, that one worked. But the smash idea didn't so let's see if we can find some weapons and actually have some fun time it's cool because there's just different modes like you can actually have a survival mode where it just it starts you off with some weapons it gives you this and that i think my guy's thirsty let's see if we can get a drink <clears> how <throat> about some orange soda grab you go your inventory i could have ate it then and there too but I actually have some rounds you might as well that in gun like reload fool okay so each orange soda maybe they should animate to say drink 
And there you go, you're not thirsty anymore. He's hungry though. We'll see if we get some cheese or something. Oh, no, fridge. You got some bread and some apples. Okay. Eat the apple. Grab a bread. Grab some strawberries. Eat another piece of bread. Oh, he's well fed. He's well fed. Alright. He's well fed. No shirt. He has some bullets in his gun at least. I think he reloaded. Let's continue. Now I'm not one to actually survive long in this game. I usually get eaten and die pretty damn quick, but <clears throat> I don't know. I'm trying to I'm trying to see see past what we've been doing on this game and see what it has to offer past just going around getting a couple guns, shooting zombies, eating and surviving. Like I've seen the pictures and it says like you can build up a community, you can do this and that, but it doesn't have a good way of showing you how to do such thing. There's no like specific thing I'm looking for besides guns and such like that. And that's definitely one thing that's just it just makes, you know, people not play stuff like this. Especially when you're like trying to get stuff to work and then you barely get it to work and then you're just like, well, I'm here in this ugly shack house with nothing to do. So let's see. Seeds, beans, like it has ideas of, like you could probably actually plant seeds and make like a cool like forest or a cool whatever the hell they call them, farm type thing, but matches. It's like it seems like stuff I'd need, but I just know like in a minute here I'll run into ten zombies and they'll just eat me and it won't matter anymore. <laughs> <clears throat> Here's the holdout spot. We're gonna sit up here in these chairs. Just hold out. <clears throat> so here's a zombie. Oh, there's a zombie. Is that what I mean about them just showing up on you? A little cheesy. It's about the zombies over here. I should probably... <clears throat> I should probably bail. Alright, what's in this fridge? I'm sick of looking in the fridge. I'm just gonna take this yo-yo. Screw it. So I don't know if you can I'm sure there's some way of accessing a map, but I sure the hell can't find it. Shit, there's now like a whole bunch of zombies chasing me. It's gonna be like out of nowhere, ten zombies. But I do feel in games like State of Decay and Daisy that you have such a better shot of surviving. In a game like this, like the bullets hardly work. If you get like a baseball bat or something, he'll sit there and just constantly whack the zombie in the face and it won't really do anything so it's again this game just has very bad controllers and I just want to give you guys a look at it though because it's like maybe you guys see this on sale and you're like hey this game looks kind of decent I wanted to give you kind of the rundown on what to expect you know you definitely can expect some really terrible controllers but it does look like it could be a deep zombie game if you actually get into it and spend the time to play it but it just gets so boring it you know you just kind of like why would you want to spend the time to get to learn how to play this game? <laughs> like you have so many other options of games to play. When they when they hand you this, you're like, I want a Left 4 Dead 4. What's this shit? But still, I mean, like I said, I think it has potential. But I definitely don't think if you can't get it for no more than like $3, it's not worth a single more penny than that. 